Hey, what up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Tyler. And this high school football video is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company. All of our Lakewood coverage this year is sponsored by J.P. Crawford. And all of our Cabrillo coverage is sponsored by the Cone family. Down the stretch they come. We are coming around the last corner of this football season. We've got two hungry teams looking for their first more league wins of the season as Lakewood visits Cabrillo. Yeah, the Lancers have been playing some good teams, uh, but they've gotten better because of it. And we've talked so much about how the season has had a disappointing turn for the Cabrillo Jaguars. But obviously they're at home trying to turn things around and get a win over the Lancers. But on the second play from scrimmage, Braden down into Ethan Sharp. However, Devin Edwards going to pop that ball out and Tristan Muck right there to recover. This is how an upset gets started, JJ. Oh, indeed. Dejon Pittman back in action for the Jags, trying to get him involved early, but Lakewood was looking for six. Cabrillo backed up. Hunter Jose Gonzalez with the one-handed snack. How did that not get blocked? How, Sway? It also got fumbled out there near midfield. Pittman's going to recover it. Lakewood doing everything it can to keep Cabrillo in this game early, Tyler. Big man's an athlete. That's an amazing catch for sure. Lakewood defense phenomenal tonight. Javier Aguiar going to fly in to make the stop and force the turnover on downs. Second time's a charm for the Lakewood return unit as it's a double thumb. Anthony Winston Jr. gets the block and the and Lancers are right back on the doorstep. Very next play, it's down and on another quick slant. Ellis Gibson on an island and he's going to go in and score from 21 yards out. That's easy offense, and that's what the Lance has been looking for. Cabrillo quarterback Luis Haro trying to get his team going. Love that look for the Jags. The full backfield, misdirection, motioning in and out. Kind of get those runners loose. It worked early for him and Bobo Jackson. Uh, the problem was he didn't really have time to throw, so that doesn't really work. Yeah, Ravana Tufu Tafuga Fale coming in and getting the sack right there. Not impressed. Thumbs down. First play on the next Lakewood drive. Are you muck enough? You know, muck is kind of an underrated Pokemon, JJ. Tristan Muck with the INT. I like that. Uh, Cabrillo passing game. Not liking this, though. They were just a step off all night. Killed a few really promising drives. Lakewood trying to get his ground game going all season. And it's working tonight. Caden Clark gets loose for a 39-yard run. That's into Jack's territory. And this is how these things go, right? Everybody, including me, fooled by the play-action fake. And down it. Easy as you like from 24 yards out for the touchdown. Lakewood up 14 nil at the end of the first quarter. Yeah, he got you good, but honestly, we've all gotten got. You know, it's it, true. You take a risk every time you go out there. Uh, we said Bobo Jackson had some success. He had 25 yards on his first two carries, but Noah Mallon and the Lancers, they answered with aggression. He had a few tackles for loss tonight. Maybe highlight of the night to Kim Ray Brown on the sideline, OBJ. He was called out of bounds, but I don't care. I want to look at that again because that is such a beautiful catch. Two one-handed catches tonight. Yeah, don't stress uh, on, on the feet work. Focus on the hands. Uh, a few plays later, big shouts to the Lakewood offensive line. Given down in all kinds of time, he finds Caleb Foster all by himself. And that's another easy touchdown, 21-0 Lakewood. Yeah, Lakewood cruising at this point. Already showed you Clark Foster. And now here's Zion Smith with a nifty sidestep get out of the box and off to the races. The law firm of Clark Foster and Smith. That's a 42 yard touchdown. It's working for the rushing attack. Lakewood up 28 nil. Lakewood getting right back to work in the second half as Downen continues to spread the ball around. This one's 19 yards to JT Deku. 35 nothing Lakewood as they were getting what they wanted. Uh, let's take a moment to give some big shouts to this Cabrillo football team and guys like Haro. They never hang their heads. They never give up. They're always showing growth as a program. Unfortunately, when you get sacked seven times, it's tough to get your offense in the right spot. Speaking of quarterbacks not afraid to use their feet and deliver a hit, he's all the way down in for this. Braden on the move, 33-yard pickup right here, and finishing with authority, sticking his nose in here. Then he's going to cap his night with a fourth touchdown pass to a fourth different receiver. This one to Malachi Johnson, 30 yards. He's going to get the clock run in the fourth quarter, down in 12 for 20, 202, four TDs, two interceptions, but also a TD rushing. Lakewood wins at 56 nothing. Lakewood going to host Jordan next week in a big league game, while Cabrillo, is going to host Wilson. Thanks as always to all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. And if you want to continue to follow everything local football, you keep it right here at the562.org.